Hi, welcome to another Average Joe Hockey Report. In this video, we're going to go over my five underrated acquisitions that are from, off from the offseason. Number five from the Vancouver Canucks, Connor Garland. Garland um, uh, has played three NHL seasons, three seasons in the NHL, with the last two being full time. And in his last season for the Arizona Coyotes, he tied a season high 39 points in 49 games. In Vancouver, could he break it? I could very well see it, considering he should be playing with better line mates and should be on a better offensive team in the Canucks. At number four, from the Winnipeg Jets, Brendan Dillon. Brendan Dillon, um, he's, been in, he's been in the position before where he's the two-way defenseman and who has, who has supported the offensive defenseman. He's played with Eric Carlson in San Jose. He's played with John Carlson in Washington. And I could very well see him playing with Neil Pionk in Winnipeg. Asking him to put up 20 points as well is not far-fetched for, uh, for um, uh, Dylan, as he's put up 22 points twice with San Jose and nearly and put up 19 points last season with the, with the Washington Capitals playing all 56 games with them. At number three, from the Los Angeles Kings, we've got Victor Arvidsson. Second. Arvidsson, worst case scenario, is a veteran that helps out the young prospects of the Los Angeles Kings. Which, by the way, when I mentioned Los Angeles' um, uh, prospect pool, I forgot about Gabriel Velarde. But yeah, Arvidsson should be on the top line for Los Angeles and should, pr should provide offense. Again, and if not, if he does not providing offense, he should at least be helping in a mentor role for the for the young promising prospects uh, that the LA Kings have. And number two, the reason why Yasperi Kakaniemi was not his his office sheet wasn't matched was Christian Dvorak. Even with even with a team starving for offense in the Arizona Coyotes, Christian Dvorak nearly put up 20 goals many times. Dvorak should be playing on a better team, offensive team in Montreal, and 20 goals should be doable. Dvorak also um, uh, should fill in the holes that were lost over the offseason when the when the Montreal Canadiens lost both Philip Deno and Yasperi Kakaniemi. And yeah. So really like the acquisition of Dvorak. He's only he's only twenty five. Should have many years should have many good solid years for the Canadians. Yep. And at number one, I've mentioned him before, I'll say it again, Darcy Kemper of the Colorado Avalanche. Darcy Kemper Put up good numbers in Arizona in the past. He's on a much more solid team in Colorado. And the only issue with Kemper is how many shots he's going to face. If, and how focused is he going to be? Is he going to be when he doesn't face that many shots? But Kemper, I've said it before, I've said it again. I like the acquisition. I think, I think it's going to do wonders for Colorado. And... He, they definitely make up for losing um, Philip Grubauer in the acquisition of Kemper. Now, this video is based on opinion, mostly, and may not have any implications on how these players fare. So remember, if I'm wrong, don't belittle me, educate me. Let your, uh, leave a comment below on Facebook or YouTube or whatnot. Um, uh, if you have any other underrated acquisitions you'd like to add, and yeah. And also, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my account, to my Instagram account, Average Joe Hockey Report, and my YouTube channel, Marty Tommy, in parentheses, Average Joe Hockey Report.